I want to show you how to get seeds out of this as quickly, as easily, as painlessly as possible with no stains. I promise no stains. So the only bad part is this where you have to cut it because then you're you're destroying some of those. Then I break it in half to not cut it. Break it in half and then grab a spoon, flip it upside down, but then open it. If you hold it low into the bowl of water, you won't get any uh, of the red splashes and all the white parts float to the top. Happy voiceover time, everyone. This pomegranate thing is a pet peeve of mine because no one believes me when I tell them this is the fastest way. It's usually someone that doesn't cook for a living, but they've been cooking for a long time, so we're, we're somehow equals, and I need to listen to their perspective. They, they haven't done this day in, day out. Six pomegranates a day, 12 pomegranates a day. No, they're an expert. They wear PPE protection. There's the whole pomegranates underwater, yet they still get stains on themselves. It takes them an hour and a half. Uh, but I got to hear about this technique that they have. I go up with one of these, and all these white parts, all these float to the surface. So just go through there. Just give it a skim, just like your little pool. Basically, it. If you know a better way, put it in the comments. Let me know. Let us know. Let's have a debate about this. But I reserve the right to call bullshit if I don't think it's faster. I've, I've literally had to do this like day in and day out for weeks on end on charter and like running out of pomegranates, constantly going through them. And this is the fastest way that I found. Yet people still argue with me about it. And you can tell I'm passionate about this and I'm going to die on this hill. Thank you. Uh, but I, I've tried so many different ways to get seeds out of pomegranate. That is my favorite. If someone has a faster one, put it in the comments. I'm, I'm all ears, but um, it's fast. There's no white bits. There's no splashing of red stuff over you. The only part that I don't like is the initial cut because you cut through all those cells, all those seeds and destroy them. That's the only bad part. If someone's got a better way, I'd be happy to hear it. Uh, thank you and happy quarantine, everyone.